Welcome back, record collectors, music mavens, and crate diggers. This is Ant on Music. I'm your host, Ant. And this week, we're going to take a look at some completions I made in my collection, some new stuff that's come out, uh, and also some of those little silver shiny discs uh, as well. So we're going to look at the big ones and the little ones this week. Uh, before we get into it, you know, Glad you're here, glad you showed up. Always happy to share my record collection with you and CD and DVD and Blu-ray collection with you. Uh, whatever's music, you know, like I always say, music in all formats, man. It's uh, it's uh, what makes you happy, it's what makes me happy. Um, but always remember, you know, if you haven't yet, subscribe, join the colony, hit that subscribe button, uh, leave a comment, something you want me to talk about, some avenue of uh, my collection you want me to go down and, and Show you guys more than happy to share it if I've got it. More than happy to uh, to, to share it with everybody. Uh, also, you know, leave a comment. You know, good or bad. You know, what you like, what you don't like, uh, and click like. You know, click like. That's cool. You know, I appreciate all the feedback. I think it's great. Um, so let's get into it. All right. Uh, first thing that that uh, I got was kind of like a twofer. So we'll start off with the big disc and a little disc, which is the same thing. Uh, Marius Duda. All right. Uh, those of you unfamiliar with him or unfamiliar with that name, he is the driving force. He is the main man, the bass player and vocalist for Polish prog rock band um, Riverside. And during lockdown, uh, he released some electronic music. You know, he has, you know, he has Riverside. Then he has his solo project called Lunatic Soul, uh, which, you know, is very different from Riverside. Riverside's much more uh, rock oriented, where um, the Lunatic Soul, Soul stuff is more instrumental based, uh, more electronic, but not straight up electronic. During lockdown, he released a, a lockdown trilogy. Uh, one of the albums is up there behind me. Um, and this kind of continues where that left off. This one is called Afraid, and if you notice, the AI is highlighted, so as if we're, uh, you know, dealing this new world that we're living in with AI. Uh, very much an electronic album, uh, you know, inside of it. It's on a K-Scope record, so you have their little sheet that they throw in promoting what they are promoting. Um, you know, the upcoming releases and stuff that's just been out on the label, and also... You have the liner notes and some photograph artworks pertaining to the album. And this album was pressed on some beautiful magenta vinyl. You can check that out. Very beautiful, all right? Uh, you know, very different. You know, not very, not very hard rock, not anything like that. Very ambient, very, uh, you know, very different than probably a lot of stuff that you're used to listening to. Uh, you know, the you know titles on the album, Taming Nightmares, Good Morning, Fear Mongering, Fake Me Deep Murph, uh, Bots Party, uh, Side 2 Has I Love to Chat With You, Why So Serious, Cassandra, uh, Mid Journey to Freedom, and Embracing the Unknown. I also picked it up on CD. It came as a bundle uh, directly through the k-scope label so i picked it up uh as a bundle for for both uh kind of usual usually when you get a bundle you know through the through the label what it'll what it'll be is you'll get the album as it is and then just get the disc you know in there with just a, a plain clear plastic sleeve but with this bundle it was the uh the full album on both cd and vinyl which was really nice and I, i've listened to that a few times it's pretty cool i liked the uh, the lockdown trilogy that he put out the three albums that he put out were, were really cool and it was basically as he explained it it was music that he made for himself uh and he took it back to when it was like when he was a kid just working on a keyboard in in his home uh and you know it was so well received he put another album out basically under his own name which is you know Depending on how you look on either the, the second time or the fourth time, because there were three albums in the lockdown trilogy and also a, a box set on CD. Uh, and now he's come out with this. 
and you know Riverside just finished touring not long ago and hopefully they'll be back in the studio before we know it and release something new uh, I got to see them live this past year and uh, it was the first time I saw them live saw them down at a Sony Music Hall in Manhattan and they were phenomenal you know absolutely fantastic band live uh, nobody has more fun than their keyboard player uh, Mike Lepage uh, Dude is smiling ear to ear the entire show. Fantastic. Uh, continuing on with the, the Riverside, Marius Duda, uh, Lunatic Soul uh, spiel is this. Lunatic Soul. All right, This is the second album. This came out in 2011 and I've been hunting for it. I got into Lunatic Soul about four or five years ago and I've been hunting for it forever. Forever and ever. And I couldn't find it at a reasonable price. Like you go on eBay, you go on Discogs. And basically, people wanted like your firstborn, you know, to, to get a hold of this album. This was released in, in 2011. Um, you know, pretty basic artwork on the front. You've got photograph and track listing on the back. It is a gatefold album. It's another photograph of Marius Duda inside. Uh, similar photograph on one of the sleeves, okay? And then. You can actually see him right there as well and on the back of that sleeve we have that uh you know some pretty cool stuff on here transition gravestone hill wanderings uh kicks off with the in-between kingdom which is uh, an instrumental uh otherwhere suspended in whiteness a solemn limbo and escape from paradise rounds out the entire album uh, very, like I said, very different. It's somewhere in between Riverside and in between uh, the full-on electronics of Marius Duda Solo. Uh, if you've never heard them, you may want to check them out as well. I dig them. It, in my estimation, Marius Duda is kind of like the Polish Stephen Wilson. He's got his hands in a lot of different projects. Uh, he always seems to have a lot to say musically, and I think he's definitely one of the 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 more, uh, one of the better artists to watch in Prague, uh, you know, in this century. Uh, you know, everyone gets caught up in Prague. They think it's just Yes and Genesis and these old bands, but it, it's not. Uh, there are some really great new progressive rock bands out there with Riverside definitely being one of them. Uh, and Mary Stewart is a big reason for that. Speaking of old Prague bands, uh, this just came out, all right? This is King Crimson. Music is our friend. And this is an official bootleg from King Crimson. Uh, live in Washington and Albany. This was as they were um, winding down. This is the uh, the big version of Crimson. Okay. Uh, with the triple drummer attack. Uh, this is triple vinyl and a triple sleeve. So you get an idea of what that looks like. And this was recorded, as said, as I said, up in Wa up in Albany and in Washington D.C. And um, I got to see them on this tour earlier on, actually before the pandemic, um, and it was phenomenal. It was actually the last show that I saw before the pandemic hit. Uh, you know, great lineup in uh, this this configuration of Crimson. You got Robert Fripp, of course, on guitars, Jacko Jackson on guitar and vocals, the one and only Tony Levin on bass and stick. The dude is a monster. You know, he's been on more recordings than you could shake a stick at. Uh, Mel Collins on sax and flute. Pat Mastelotto, who's also in uh, Stick Men with Tony Levin, which is another, you know, you know neo-prog band worth checking out. Uh, Jeremy Stacy on drums and keyboards. And Gavin Harrison, who seems to be on everything under the sun on drums as well. Uh, to take a look inside, shows you all the... Uh, Crimson albums that are out and collections and these are in some very nice sleeves you know all the albums are basic black with photos on the labels I'm not really going to waste all your time looking at every single black label that's uh that is in this collection but uh you know this is a this is a great set if you had a chance to see King Crimson on their last tour Man, were they awesome. I was so happy that I got to see them on what you know ended up becoming their final tour. Um, just amazing. Uh, you have on the album, 
the introductory soundscape, which was created by Fripp, uh, The Hellhounds of Krim, uh, Lark's Tongue and Aspen Part 1, Pictures of a City, The Court of the Crimson King, Red, uh, which, you know, fantastic Crimson track. Uh, if you go on YouTube, you can also see Fripp with Daryl Hall on Live from Daryl's House doing uh, a version of Red, which is fantastic. It was recorded uh, live at Daryl's House, I think, last November. And it just got released on, on YouTube on Daryl's channel there. So check that out. Uh, Coney Caden Tony Cadenza deals it Slitherlicious to the max. Uh, Neurotica. One More Red Nightmare. Indiscipline. Lark's Tongue and Aspic Part 2. Epitaph. Radical Action 2. Level 5. Coney Tony Cadenza serves at Piping Hot. Uh, Discipline. Starless. Islands and 21st Century Schizoid Man. This is a, a great collection to have of, of Crimson Live. I, I love everything that they've done, especially with this version of the band, this configuration. It's really, really fantastic. Um, definitely worth picking up and checking out. Uh, King Crimson uh, 2021, Music is Our Friend. Great album. Uh, last couple of things I have to show for you are, you know, another completion to my collection or getting closer to the completion. Um... This is a Porcupine Tree promotional copy of their single Waiting. Okay, and this is, you know, this isn't new. This came out back in, in 96 and came out in England. It's basically got three tracks on it, Waiting Phase 1, Waiting Phase 2, and The Sound of No One Listening. But, uh, you know, something that, you know, wanted to add to my collection. You know, saw it for, for a very reasonable price and said, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that to the collection. So I managed to add that in. Uh, so I got that one going with the porcupine tree stuff. And the next two things I have is uh, a Blu-ray, which just came out. And as I've said, I'm a huge Marillion fan. Uh, been following Marillion since the 80s. Uh, I've seen them, God, I don't know how many times, both with Fish and with, uh, and with H, Steve Hogarth. And this is from their tour from last year. Uh, actually, from this year, live in Port Zeeland, uh, 2023. And this is an hour before it's dark. And this is the Blu-ray on it. It has Be Hard on Yourself, Reprogram the Gene, Only a Kiss, Murder Machines, The Crow and the Nightingale, Sierra Leone, and Care, which is, you know, that's that's the album, basically. You know? And then you have Encores of Estonia, uh, one of my all-time favorite tracks, Afraid of Sunlight, Go, The Space, and Separated Out, which is like a zept out version of their song Separated Out. Uh, and also has some extras, you know, it has, uh, you know, intro river, which they actually have a CD of just river, uh, bridge living with the big live runaway, uh, the hollow man born to run white paper, sugar mice, which has one of the best guitar solos that Steve uh, Rothery has ever done. And Jeannie, uh, last thing I picked up, which, uh, also in the Marillion camp, this is a DVD. It wasn't available on Blu-ray. But I did pick this up. This is their lead singer, Steve Hogarth. And he has what he calls his H Natural Concerts. It's basically Steve Hogarth with a keyboard, electronic piano, uh, a laptop, and his sense of humor. You know, And there's a lot of banter from the stage. It's you know, usually, uh, you know, he does these in, in a church. Uh, and this one was recorded at St. John's the Evangelist Church in Oxford, and it was recorded three years ago, come December 19th of this year, and it's fantastic. I mean, if you like Marillion, you probably already know that this exists. Um, you know, it's a mixture of Steve Solo stuff, Christmas music, uh, Marillion stuff, and stuff from all over, you know, and covers as well. Uh, this one, you know, it's got quite a bit of material on it. Uh, our, a little town of Bethlehem across the universe seasons end. This train is my life, which is one of my favorite songs, the downtown lights, your dinosaur thing, which is a Steve solo song, the answering machine trap, the spark heart is love better dreams. Uh, then you have stuff from the Corona diary podcast, which is something that Steve did during COVID. A lot of the stuff, you know, came out of, you know, either as a result of COVID or let into, you know, it was the last thing that was done before COVID. Um, then you have your Gone, The Hollow Man, uh, Famous Blue Raincoat, which is a cover of the Leonard Cohen song, The Ghost in You, Fantastic Place, Drilling Holes, 
uh, like a Rolling Stone, Cage, This is the 21st Century, which is probably has one of my favorite lyrics of all time. Um, and it, uh, Afraid of Sunlight, The Whole of the Moon, which is my favorite song by Echo and the Bunnymen, and this version is spectacular. Spirit, Easter, and closes out with Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. So this is Steve Hogarth, H Natural Christmas live stream. You know, from uh, from St. John the Evangelist. You know, if you're a Marillion fan, Steve Hogarth fan, music fan, uh, you know, this might be one picking up. You can get it from Record Records, which is Marillion's uh, Marillion's uh, record store that they have on their page. So you can go to Marillion.com and you can go to the Racket Records uh, home store page and pick that up, as well as the Marillion uh, Blu-ray of an hour before it's dark in Port Zell in 2023. Uh, you know, so that's everything I have for you. Uh, you know, in the coming few weeks left that we have in the year, going to look back on the year of music, uh, tell you what my favorites were, show you them, because that's probably going to have some stuff that hasn't been seen so far because I've only started doing this a couple of months ago. Uh, and we'll get into that. Maybe some holiday music. See, you know, see about that. Uh, you know, Hit like, drop a comment, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Uh, also, you know, most importantly, as I say, join the colony, hit the subscribe button below. It'd be cool to have you here, and this way you get updates as to every time I drop a new video. Uh, lastly, but not least, always remember, peace, one love, and music. Everyone take care. Have a great week.